Hello again. Well, it's time for me to make this third video. I made the first one about uh, leaving Sham behind and coming out and speaking the truth about things that had happened in my life. And then I made the second one about my body's physical response, the illness um, that, wow, it's been huge. It's been about two weeks now and um, I've barely been out of my bed. Uh, it's bronchitis. So, you know, I used to get bronchitis all the time in my late teens. And of course, I never realised then what it was all about, but I do now. I want to thank you all from the depth of my being for all your comments and emails and prayers and blessings. And oh, wow. You've just got no idea how much it means to me and how much it helps me. And of course, it helps the rest of the world too. Because everything we put out does travel the world and everyone in it is affected. So, well done. Thank you so much. On a personal level and two on a global level. Right. Last video I made, I didn't have Louise Hay's book ready, marked actually. Today I do. So, I'm going to read to you what it says about bronchitis. It says the probable cause is... <coughs> Inflamed family environments, arguments and yelling and sometimes silence. So for me it was the silence of not telling, holding the secret. And I had this irrational fear, really deep fear that if I told, you know, my father would have a heart attack and die and it would be all my fault and, you know, all that sort of stuff. And I realise now that, you know, this is a child's perspective, the child that feels that she must rescue the family and keep everyone happy. And I'm an adult now. And it's time, it's time that I take care of my inner child. So that's what I'm doing. Okay. And the new thought pattern is, I declare peace and harmony within myself. Sorry, within me and around me. And all is well. Now, yesterday, which would be... Um, the 26th in the US, 28th here in Australia. Wow, what an incredible show on Angel Heart Radio. If you didn't hear it, I recommend with everything in my being that you go listen to it. And in fact, I'll put a, a link up. I can't, I don't, actually, I don't know how to do the links, but I'll put the address up so you can go listen. It's called Simply the Best. And Annette McCoy has brought this show forward. And I called in to speak to one of the guests, uh, Estelle. And I was really shocked, actually, when I started speaking to her. I broke down started to cry. And I was really shocked um, because, because I've been so ill. Oh, wow, so ill for the last couple of weeks and hardly out of my bed. I felt like I'd done something wrong and I was being, you know, this was it. This was showing me that I'd really done something wrong. My inner child was feeling really scared about being sick, unwell, ill. You know, it's been so difficult to breathe even. So anyway, but you know, that's all definitely on the mend now. And um, so I'm going to have a fractology session, um, which is very, very deep healing with Estelle this week. So I'm going to put up that link as well. Infiniteintegrity.co.nz. But I will put up the link. <sighs> so again... Thanks for sharing this journey with me. It's an honour and a privilege to have you with me, to walk beside you and to share the truth of my life and my being and to finally um, embrace all the bits of me, all the fragments that I'd pushed away for a long time, feeling that they were wrong, um, invaluable, sorry, un, 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 not valuable, there you go, they are invaluable, not valuable, and I didn't realise until recently that, wow, do you know what, I had been harbouring this feeling that because of the things that had actually happened, that I was a disgrace to my family, and not valuable at all, and it was all my fault, and I know that I'm not alone in these feelings, so it's great to share this with you. And I value you. No matter what's happened in your life, you are very, very precious, extremely valuable, 
and wonderful, just as you are. I'll talk to you again soon. Bye-bye.